You're obviously a very competitive person. You're competing with the likes of Jeff Bezos uh, in... Uh... Jeff who? Space race. It's a billionaire race because these two emerging companies are owned by top billionaires and entrepreneurs. We're now living in the age of space race, and two companies are competing neck to neck to be leaders in the emerging market. The billionaire space race, who's it between? SpaceX, owned by Elon Musk, an engineer entrepreneur with a net worth of $194.8 billion as of January 2021. And Blue Origin, another entrepreneur. Jeff Bezos owns this one, Mr. Amazon, with a net worth of $185.2 billion. Both companies are trying to transport humans and packages to space. So the question is, who's going to get there first? I'd like to see your answer down in the comments section. The space race, once a competition between rival countries, has become a battle of the billionaires. Among them, Mr. Tesla, Elon Musk, who seeks to colonize Mars with SpaceX, and Mr. Amazon, Jeff Bezos, who charts a future with his rocket manufacturer, Blue Origin, where millions of humans are both living and working in space. Both are competing to develop the all-important lunar lander for NASA's Artemis mission in 2024. So how do these two galactic egos stack up? Comparing the two companies together, who's closer to making space tourism a reality? Well, take a seat and watch as we go into details about these two companies. But before that, make sure you give the video a like. Hit the like button and subscribe and click the notification bell so you get notified every time we drop a video. You don't wanna miss them, yeah. Not since the 1960s have we witnessed such an appetite for space missions. Thanks to SpaceX and Blue Origin, space is becoming more interesting to us. Both of the company's systems are rocket powered and they're capable of carrying up to six passengers on a flight, but that's where it all ends. History will never forget May 30th, 2020, two humans launched into space on a rocket and spacecraft built by a private company, SpaceX. Then on October 13th, 2020, Blue Origin launched its new Shepard rocket into the sky on an uncrewed test flight over West Texas. The new Shepard contained several technology experiments, including a lunar landing system that contained a LiDAR suite, a computer, and a terrain recognition system, as well as a heat shield that could be used on the upcoming orbital New Glenn rocket. The spacecraft also contained several experiments that, according to The Verge, included a microgravity aquatic garden and a prototype system for asteroid mining. The capsule carried numerous postcards created by school children imagining what the space future would look like. The flight went to an altitude of 66 miles and took about 10 minutes. Then on November 14th of 2020, SpaceX launched their newest Falcon 9 rocket. This SpaceX launch came one month after Blue Origin's October 13th New Shepard launch. The reason these launches were even possible in the first place is due to the Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA, loosening restrictions on what a private entity must do before a rocket launch. Blue Origin is developing rocket-powered vertical takeoff and vertical landing vehicles, or VTVLs, for access to suborbital and orbital space, while SpaceX is currently developing two further rocket engines, Super Draco and Raptor. While we often have heard about SpaceX missions and launches over the past few years, Blue Origin doesn't seem to be as ambitious in gaining traction. In the last two years alone, SpaceX has done 21 launches, which is about 20% of the roughly 100 worldwide launches. Recently, it also became the first private company to successfully launch the SpaceX Falcon 9 into space. It's the first time a commercially developed space vehicle owned and operated by a private entity, anything other than NASA, has transported a human into orbit. Musk's obsession with exploring Mars and other space is not unknown. Back in 2001, he came up with the idea for Mars Oasis and even pledged a few million dollars for the project. Blue Origin, on the other hand, is yet to launch anything into orbit, but their ambitions aren't that different from SpaceX. Its rocket, called the New Glenn, is often the talk of the town, and the company is aiming to launch in 2021. It'll be powered by an engine developed by the company itself called the BE-4. It was secretly found in 2000 by Bezos, but has gained attention only after 2015. 
It's also working on New Shepard, a vertical takeoff and vertical landing rocket the company wants to use for human tourism. In the space segment, while the two companies might look quite similar in their attempts to explore space, the ideology and the approach of these companies, they're very different. But one thing cannot be denied. They're both developing large, reusable vehicles that are capable of carrying people and satellites across space. SpaceX seems to have the upper hand over Blue Origin. ULA has been awarded $337 million for 2022 launch dates. And SpaceX gets $316 million of that. SpaceX and ULA beat out Northrop Grumman and Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin, which also submitted bids for the contracts. Well, Blue Origin doesn't totally lose out, however, as it will be supplying the engines for the ULA rockets in the future. In 2018, SpaceX sent an AI-based robot called Simon, C-I-M-O-N, short for Crew Interactive Mobile Companion, to the International Space Station. It was designed to help astronauts perform their work like experiments. It became the first AI technology to be launched to the space station. And not just that, the recently launched Falcon 9 rocket also made use of artificial intelligence. It has sophisticated AI autopilots that steer the cone-shaped Crew Dragon. Once it reaches within 60 feet of the space station, the astronauts then maneuver it. Talking about Blue Origin, Bezos' parent company Amazon's cloud unit AWS recently unveiled a new space business segment called Aerospace and Satellite Solutions Business Segment, intending to bring AWS services to space enterprises and the satellite industry it aims to help them with spaceflight operations. It aims to reimagine space system architecture, launch services that process space data on Earth, provide secure, flexible, scalable, and cost-efficient cloud solutions for space missions. It might hardly come as a surprise if Blue Origin tries to benefit from that in the coming future. SpaceX has been seen taking the lead in building and sending liquid-fueled rockets into orbit, developing a small launcher, successfully launching, orbiting, and recovering spacecraft, and developing the cheapest rocket first. SpaceX has been seen taking the lead, for instance, building and sending liquid-fueled rockets in Earth's orbit, developing a small launcher, successfully launching, orbiting, and recovering spacecraft, developing the cheapest rocket, first private company to send humans into space, and more. With all this, we can say SpaceX is really making achievements. Blue Origin, on the other hand, they're taking it smaller steps at a time. So far, they've developed a suborbital capsule system, acquired the technology of reusable rockets with vertical takeoff and landing, made a two-stage orbital launch vehicle with New Glenn, and soon aims to send astronauts to the moon again. These two companies have been at this race for quite a time. SpaceX and Blue Origin battled for the right to lease LC-39A, the rocket launch platform that launched the Apollo moon missions. SpaceX won the lease in 2013, but Blue Origin filed suit against that. It's currently in the hands of SpaceX, while Blue Origin rented SLC-36 instead. SpaceX and Blue Origin got into a Twitter battle about the meaning of a used rocket, landed rocket, space rocket at the end of 2015, when New Shepard successfully landed after a suborbital jaunt into space. SpaceX had previously launched and landed its Grasshopper rocket multiple times without reaching space. Then they landed a Falcon 9 first stage, which had been used to launch a satellite into orbit, prompting more Twitter battles at the start of 2016. While SpaceX has sent many rocket designs into orbit and sent two astronauts into space, Blue Origin still is working towards that. It has, till now, flown suborbital rocket flights and is in the early stages of assembling its first rocket capable of reaching orbit. Though there's a visible lag, experts feel that Blue Origin is well set for giving major competition to SpaceX, especially with Amazon's new project and being the richest man. You know, as they say, money can buy engineering talent and everything else needed to create rockets. So what do you think, SpaceX or Blue Origin? Who's gonna get us there first? Will Musk take us to Mars? Or do you think Bezos is just throwing money at Blue Origin and doesn't know a thing about rockets? Whatever you think, we'd love to hear in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video and don't forget, click the like button and subscribe and then hit that notification bell. Thanks again for watching guys and we'll see you in the next video.